Why am I meditating? Because I have an anger issue behind this very, very angelic face, and I've heard that meditation is basically a free anger management course. While I try my best not to show my anger too destructively towards other people, what? What? Why? What? I do have some pretty unhealthy coping mechanisms privately. This girl is the nastiest skank bitch I've ever met. Do not trust her. I will never stop making a Mean Girls reference and you can count on me on that. You can count on me. Like I said, I have an anger issue which not many people know about because I internalized it like all good women were taught to do since young. And I don't have to tell you that that's a really bad idea because I end up directing all my anger and frustrations towards myself and all the living beings around me. <sighs> Please eat so I can finally feel useful in my life. Note to filmmakers, Odin is the wrong dog to cast if you want to make this point. And that was a Barbie movie reference. Oh, I love Greta Thunberg. You can't count on me. And so I present to you 30 days of Meditation Barbie. This Barbie comes with an auto roll-out yoga mat, features including balancing anywhere, everywhere. Press her tummy for your daily affirmations. You're a bad bitch who came from Sri Lanka. She's so cool. She's so cool. She's so cool. cool, 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 cool. The truth is, I have tried meditating before. Multiple times, in fact, but all ended in failure. Like all of my relationships, but we don't talk about that. You would have probably guessed that I'm not the greatest at doing mundane things. I need constant stimulation, whether it's mentally or physically. And this is going to be the toughest challenge I have for myself. So far. This is the worst day of my life. The worst day of your life so far. I only had one rule for myself. Just do it! Just do it no matter good or bad, long or short, thick or thin, north or west. I'm determined to have absolutely zero expectations for myself because Expect disappointment and you will never get disappointed. And that is how I keep my spirits up. Don't question my method, I know what I'm doing. No clue what the hell he's doing! There are actually tons of meditation apps you can use but I like this one. Because the creator Sam Harris is generous enough to have scholarships for those who are unable to pay for yearly fees. Everybody, let's do our affirmations together. If it's free, it's for me. If it's free, it's for me. If it's not, I was taught to learn to dodge and not get caught again. If it's free, it's for me. If it's most importantly, I like this app because it has a non-intimidating introductory course with guided meditations for newbies like myself. Even if you don't intend to start on meditating, this can serve as an ASMR video for those of you who craves a soothing father figure voice to guide you through the unknown. You'll begin to notice that the primary obstacle to your paying attention is thinking. It's basically free therapy for those of you with daddy issues. I don't gatekeep on this channel. I started from this on the first day because I actually started this about six months ago but then I gave up for very very legitimate reasonings like this reason and also this reason. Suffice to say it was pretty justified. It was hard for me to get into the groove which was expected but I was just aiming to form a habit to sit there for 10 minutes a day doing absolutely nothing. Obviously it did not go well because I was constantly getting distracted. I know I look peaceful on the outside but on the inside. Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? And I know I was hoping that meditation would actually help me solve some of my anger issues but it ended up amplifying it. Stop licking your sand. I get distracted, I get angry, I feel guilty and then I blame myself for getting angry and then I get angry again. Stupid, stupid. And 10 minutes is such a long time and it was torturous for me, I'm not even exaggerating. By all means, move at a glacial pace, you know how that thrills me. Somehow, I gritted my teeth through the first week even though I have such low expectations of myself. But as my queen Lady Gaga would say over and over and over and over and over and over again, There can be 100 people in the room and 99 don't believe in you and you just need one to believe in you. You can have 100 people in the room that are watching you and 99 don't believe in you. You know, 100 people can be 100 people in the room and can be 100 people in the room and there can be 100 people. If she can repeat this exact quote on so many different occasions and Bradley Cooper can sit there and listen to it every single time as if it is his first time listening to it, I too can meditate every day and not be bored about it. 
as much inspiration and encouragement Gaga can give me. I was getting pretty bored with this challenge because what do you mean that I just sit here 10 minutes every day doing nothing? This is such a boring, boring ass challenge and I almost gave up on it. And so I try to look for something else to help me get through this And where better than on the app itself Where they have free podcasts from different speakers Talking about spiritual things I'm not the most spiritual person But I feel like I need to fully utilize this app Because I've already gone through the hassle and hustle Of getting this app for free And then one day it just opens up the floodgates To spiritual podcasts on Spotify, on YouTube Where I will end up listening to them While doing daily mundane things And if those things become more of a value to Watch you, where you're maybe going. you implement what? them even higher than you were before um, and that therefore benefits your account. You, you know, you have the strength to kind of... I know this is not really related to meditation but I just find it interesting how one thing can open the doors to others. And that's how meditation paved the way for our most notorious female serial killer in our world, Tade. And of course she's Asian, of course less on one seemingly uneventful morning, our main character would then experience what we would like to call enlightenment. I'm kidding, obviously. What I actually had was headache and dizziness in one of my meditation sessions and Google had some pretty wild suggestions. But I eventually found out that it was because I wasn't breathing properly. Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? What can I do anything right? Although I didn't fulfill my dream to reach enlightenment and poof into air and let my soul ascend to heaven, I did have some interesting experience with meditations this week. Don't get me wrong, my thoughts are as loud as ever, but I've learned how to ignore them, like how I ignored my mom's words of wisdom plus a bit of nagging when I was young. Who knew that a defense mechanism that I developed as a child would be such a great skill set to have? Hello therapist, I don't need you anymore. I'm cured, cured, cured. You need to pay me, you cheapskate. On a more serious note, what I find most exciting and gave me the most sense of achievement is that I can finally see how all the meditations and the spiritual podcast started to affect my world bit by bit. I react to things a bit differently now, such as having more patience, leaving suspicious brown stains on my bed sheet. This is fine. Being kinder to myself and my thoughts, being kinder to others. You stupid what? idiot, watch where you're going. It's not what happens to you, it's how you react to a situation that matters. Oh my god, did you think I killed someone again? Ha, you're so stupid, look at that, an idiot. You shut up, you shut your whole face right now. Now I would think twice before doing something very horrible. A small improvement is still an improvement. Jokes aside, I'm not lying about the benefits that I've experienced. I start to see things from different perspectives. I learned how to control surges of anger a bit more now. And since I've been doing tremendously well, I've decided to see if I can meditate longer than usual. Obviously, that was not going to work. What a crazy idea. Can you imagine? 20 minutes meditation a day. Who do you think I am? The Dalai Lama? You're crazy! How did you pull this off? Just as I thought that I would be ending this challenge peacefully and smoothly and zen my way out through life, I got hit by a serious case of PMS. She's crying again. She's crying again. She took off her wig and she's crying again. She put on the sweater and she's crying again. Eating junk food while she's crying again. Another bite and she's happy now. But with another bite and she's crying again. She thinks about her dog who's gonna die in 10 years and she's crying again. She's crying again. Now she's got tummy ache. She gotta go because PMS diarrhea is very real. When she came back and you guessed it right She's crying again, she's crying again Stupid ass uterus How I love being a woman <laughs> Unfortunately, if you're looking for a happy ending for this challenge I'm going to have to disappoint you The truth is, we can't all have happy endings Like how Game of Thrones and many other TV shows have disappointed me in the past It is now my time to give back to the community And to disappoint others as well Thank you pretending to give TED Talks again? No, no, I'm not. I'm just listening to some fanfiction audiobook.